Hey there film enthusiasts, today we are diving into the fascinating world of cinema with a twist as an acclaimed Chilean filmmaker Pablo Larraín brings us a fresh perspective on a historical figure you thought you knew. Pablo Larraín is currently shifting his focus between English language projects and Chilean films. His upcoming work titled El Conde envisions the Chilean dictator Augusto Pinochet portrayed by Jamie Walden as an elderly vampire. In this unique portrayal, Pinochet has lived for 250 years and decides to finally end his life due to health issues stemming from dishonor and family conflicts. The movie is set to premiere at the Venice Film Festival and will be released on Netflix on September 15 with a theatrical release planned for the same month. Additionally, Lorraine is preparing to start filming a biographical movie about Maria Callas featuring Angelina Jolie in the lead role. Lorraine acknowledges that his personal experiences and family background might influence his perspective on this project. He recognizes that in trial, many families have diverse viewpoints due to their connections and histories. While his own family's involvement in politics and his own reputation as a filmmaker might make this stance more noticeable, Lorraine clarifies that his creative choices are not driven by rebellion or a desire to be an outlier within the family. Instead, he emphasizes that he creates these films out of a sense of necessity and importance. Lorraine, known for his innovative storytelling, is back with El Conde, a captivating black comedy that reimagines the life of Chilean dictator Augusto Pinochet. Imagine this, after 250 years on Earth, Pinochet, played by talented Jamie Waddell, grapples with his own mortality as an aged vampire. The film boasts an incredible cast including Gloria Muchmayer, Alfredo Castro and Paula Lusinger, each bringing their own unique flair to this ugly comedic narrative. As I dwell into this intriguing concept, I am reminded that art often challenges our own perceptions. El Conde is not just about a dictator, it's a mirror to the past 50 years, not just in child but globally. Lorenz's vision comes to life with the support of his co-writer Guillermo Calderon and his co-founded production company Fabula. Prepare for an adventure as the film explores history, humor and humanity. Lorenz's innovative approach promises a very demanding yet inspiring journey. Get ready to sink your teeth into this unique cinematic experience. El Conde arrives on Netflix on 2023 promising a gripping story that defies expectations. So film aficionados, mark your calendars and get ready to be captivated by the unparalleled creativity of Pablo Larraín. Stay tuned for more updates and do not miss out on this cinematic adventure.